I have Excel dashboard, and I want to put it in PowerPoint for presentation. Can I do that? In this video, I will show you how to put Excel dashboard in PowerPoint as a linked picture. Meaning, a link will be established between Excel and PowerPoint. That way, we can update in Excel, and it will automatically update in PowerPoint as well. You can download the files that used in this video, from a link in the description below. In Excel, I have created views of the information that we will insert into PowerPoint. Starting from the traffic usage information. Payment. Server load. Expense trend. And product calculation. This is the final view in PowerPoint. You can see here. The highlighted area comes from Excel. The information contained here will be updated automatically when we update the source, which comes from Excel. Now, let me show you the sample of PowerPoint template before we create links from Excel. In this template, I have made several components. I've inserted a photo of the CEO. Then, I created the name and title using a text box. I created a title, also using a text box. For the information sections, I created it using a rectangle shape. I have formatted this template with dark background colors. Actually, it depends on the choice of design you want. My advice, try to keep the design simple without too many colors. For the first information, let's see the traffic usage in Excel. Here, I have created the data table. And this is the area that will be linked and displayed to PowerPoint. In the title, I've inserted a gauge image and a text box. These two titles also use text boxes. For this information, I used a text box, which is linked to C3 cell. As you can see here, a text box can be linked to a specific cell. And it is dynamic. If we change the number in the cell, the number in the text box will also change. This one, connected to C4 cell. And then, on the chart section, I use the donut chart type. The data comes from C3 and C4 cells. In the middle of the chart, I use a text box that is linked to D3 cell. Now, we will copy this information into PowerPoint. First, Highlight the cells from G3 to O19. Click the camera icon on the quick access toolbar to copy the area. If you don't know how to find and use the camera, you can watch the video. The link is in the description below. 
Go into PowerPoint. Click Paste on the Home Menu tab. Click Paste Special. The Paste Special window appears. Click Paste Link. Then click Microsoft Excel Worksheet Object. Click OK. Arrange and position to fit in the first box. Looks perfect. For the second section of information, we will do the same. Go to the Payments Sheet. Highlight cells F3 through N19. Click Camera. Go to PowerPoint. Click Paste. Then click Paste Special. Click Paste Link. Click Microsoft Excel Worksheet Object. And then click OK. Arrange and position to fit into the second box. and so on, until the last information section.
When finished, don't forget to save PowerPoint and Excel. Now let's test. I will change the already used number to 55.5. The percent figure becomes 73%. We'll see, in PowerPoint. Has it changed? Yes, it changed too. This change happens instantly because both applications, Excel and PowerPoint are active. What if yesterday, we updated Excel and then closed? Today, the first time we open PowerPoint, because it contains links, a confirmation like this will appear. We can click Update Links to update the data, or click Cancel to ignore. What if we want to replace the Excel file in a different location? For example, I made a copy of the Excel file, and I saved it in another location, such as the desktop. We can change the location of the Excel file. How do we do it? Click File. Then click Info. Find the Edit Links to Files option. Its position is on the bottom right. Then, because there are quite a lot of links, we have to update them one by one. Click the first link. Then click the Change Source button. Then find the Excel file. and so on, until the last link. Click Close, when finished. Click Back, to return to the PowerPoint slide. Then click Save. We have reached the end of this video. I hope that now you can understand how to create a link between Excel and PowerPoint. Thank you and see you again in another tutorial video.